Hello, it's Mark from Herotech Systems and you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to configure the Cisco wireless LAN controller and the Cisco lightweight access point in Packet Tracer. This is lesson 8 of the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial for beginners. So without further ado, let's go right into the Cisco Packet Tracer interface and do the configuration. So um, this is the Cisco Packet Tracer interface and you're welcome. And um, we had already built this top topology from the previous uh, videos. If you have missed those videos, please, the link to those videos are in the description below. In the last lesson, we configured wired and wireless LAN extension and we're able to provide uh, wireless LAN connectivity using a standalone access point. In this video, we'll be providing a centralized Wi-Fi system uh, by bringing up uh, by bringing up a wireless controller and a lightweight access point to the network. So let's get started with that. Um, if you're new to networking and you do not understand networking technologies and you want to learn uh, networking technologies from top uh, to bottom uh, uh, using the top to bottom approach uh, please there is a summarized guide in the description the link is there to the summarized guide uh, you can click the link and download it explains uh, network network technologies in a, in great detail but then in a summarized fashion um, so what we need now is to get the Cisco wireless controller um, so we're going to click on wireless and pick the controller now what I want to do is uh, I don't really like how long the display name is so I'm going to go into the device the device is already powered on so I'm just going to go into the device and then change the name to WLC. Now another thing that we want to change here that's important for for change or setting is the wireless LAN. We're going to create a wireless LAN. So uh, the name of the wireless LAN is, let's call it sales and then the SSID. To separate the SSID from the standalone SSID and the standalone access points uh, the wireless uh, which we created in the previous video we're going to uh, give it a different name so we're going to call it sales uh, underscore staff so the VLAN you leave it as zero you leave it as zero and the next thing you need to change here is the preset key so we'll say Cisco ABC Now the other thing we need to change here, uh, you have the AP group here. Um, okay, you see I messed up something in this configuration. You have to come down here and save the configuration. We leave every other thing else as default, but then we have to save the configuration. So when you save the configuration, if you come to AP group, you will see in the wireless LAN um, uh, option here, you're going to see your the name of the VLAN which you have created. Uh, so the SSID, the name of the VLAN, uh, identified by the SSID is sales underscore staff. So now for this access point, when you have a lightweight access point that has joined the controller, uh, it's going to appear in here. So when we add our access point, uh, we, should, we should have the name of the access point pop up in this section. So. Um, you can also configure GACP uh, if you want the wireless controller to hand out DCP on the network you can configure it here but we already have a GACP server in the network so we don't need that so we're just gonna come here so this is the LAN port uh, which you connect to from which you connect to your Ethernet switch and then this is the management IP configuration so uh, it's advisable, it's best practice, 
to give the wireless controller a static IP address. So we're going to give it an IP address from the pool of reserved addresses which we already configured when we did our uh, GACP configuration, uh, I think in the third or the fourth uh, uh, lesson. So we're going to just say 10.0.0.2, uh, submit mask of 255.0.0.0 and a gateway, remember our gateway 10.0.0.1 and our DNS server 8.8.8.8 and so with this we can now connect the device to we can now connect the device to the switch so so we're just going to drag this guy here and then the next thing we need to do is to bring up our lightweight access point so we're going to go back to wireless devices and uh, yeah, and then we'll take this 3702i and then we can drop it here. So we'll click on it to open it. Now, notice that it's, it's powered off. Before you can do any configuration in here, um, you have to you have to turn it on. So turn it on and take the power cable from here this icon represents the power cable I hold it and I drag it and plug it into the power port and now it's powered on so I can now come here change the display name again too long for me uh, call it AP for sure okay maybe I can differentiate it using the light with AP so now what you need to configure here is the WLC the way lightweight access points work they are created to um, search for a wireless controller upon entry to uh, the the network so the first thing they do is to receive an IP address or you can set the IP address manually if you want to do that so you can see where to set the IP address but the way they work is that when they get an IP address they will start broadcasting uh, to look for a, dish, a, a a wireless controller on the network. So to help you get a wireless controller, we're going to point it to the wireless controller. So remember the address of the controller is 10.0.0.2. So that's putting the IP address here will help, it di will point, help direct it or point it to the wireless controller. So um, for the GACP configuration, we're just going to let it receive IP address from the server on the network. Uh, so, um, just want to make sure that the gateway is set to. So, do not forget the gateway under settings that the gateway is also set to DHCP. So, that is that. So, we can now connect this one as well. So we can connect it as well. We can connect it. So I'm going to come here and pick the copper straight through cable and then connect it to the gigabit Ethernet port. And any of the ports doesn't really matter which port. So the next thing we'll do. So the thing is, what you what you're looking at here to know if it is connected is um, first of all make sure it receives an IP address from the DHCP server. It can't receive an IP address because the Ethernet port is still uh, going through the Spanish tree, the STP state. So it's not up, it's not running yet. You can see it's still showing the amber light. So we want to know whether the Gigabit Ethernet port wants to receive an IP address. What we want to look at the next one we'll look at is the cap up status. So the cap up status is saying not connected. Now the cap up status tells tells us whether it has been able to find a wireless controller on the network or not. So when it's connected, you will to see the name of the wireless uh, LAN that it has connected to, which will be the wireless LAN 
uh, the, that we, the wireless LAN that we created in the wireless controller. So let's see, it has gotten an IP address. So the next thing now is to broadcast for uh, a wireless uh, controller on the network. So we're just gonna wait for that, it might take some minutes. Yes, now you can see it has popped up and the cap of status is connected to 10.0.0.2 and the providing WLAN is uh, the name, remember the name of the WLAN, call it sales and then the SSID is sales underscore staff. So the lightweight access points is ready. You see, you don't need to configure so much. Uh, all the configuration is done on the wireless controller. So any AP you add on the network, once it receives a, an IP address, I mean a lightweight access point, once it receives an IP address, it's just going to pick up the uh, SSID, the wireless uh, LAN, which you've configured on the wireless controller. So you could have uh, hundreds of access points in, in an establishment. So all you need to do is just connect them. Once they receive an IP address, they'll pick up the configuration from the wireless controller. So that's why it's called uh, a centralized you know, uh, Wi-Fi uh, system. So what we need to do is now bring up a device. The next thing we need to do is to bring up a device. Now we'll configure the device. And yes, we'll configure the device. So go to the configuration tab here. Uh, go to wireless, and then change the SSID to sales, which is the one SSID we want to connect to. Underscore staff. If you just put sales here, it's going to connect to the standalone um, uh, uh, wireless LAN. So the preset key is Cisco. A, B, C. So, like I said, if you put sales and Cisco 1 to 3, it's going to connect to the standalone uh, wireless LAN. So, to differentiate it, that's why we use sales underscore staff and then Cisco A, B, C for it. So, set the IP address to GSCP and we are pretty much done. I'm just going to wait for it to connect to the wire. Yes, you can see it has connected. It has connected, and if I do this, so if I do this, yeah, let's see the configuration that it has gotten. Um, okay, it's not receiving an IP. Why? Let's broadcast again. Good, it has received an IP of 10.0.0.21 from the DHCP server. So if you ping 21, let's ping 21. So ping 10.0.0.21 yes we are getting replies so that is how to configure the wireless LAN controller and the lightweight access point in Cisco Packet Tracer if this tutorial this video has been helpful to you please do not forget to help us grow the channel by subscribing to it do not forget to like the video and click the notification bell so that whenever we upload new content you will be the first to receive it uh, and we upload new contents on a daily basis so thank you very much in the next video we'll be looking at how to segment the network using vlans thank you very much and god bless you